Hi guys, it's me, Karen. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Woohoo! Um, okay, this is my most recent piece. Isn't she fantastic? Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. Um, this is a copper agate and they're considered a very mysterious variety of agate. They're also known as copper replacement agates, and they've actually stunned agate collectors for decades. Their discovery was founded by John and Frank Perona back in 1951. Um, they were kept kind of secret until the mid-90s. Isn't that crazy? Like 40 years? Now the most prestigious collectors in the world are in pursuit of them because they're considered some of the rarest uh, agates on the planet. Uh, these gorgeous stones are mostly found in the Kiwina Peninsula of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan in the older mines. They are also found along the shorelines of a few private local beaches. There's other varieties of copper agate that are found in other parts of the world, but these particular ones are known in the UP of Michigan. The physical health benefits of the combined properties of agate and copper are the best of both minerals. Agate aids in healing the eyes, the stomach, and the uterus. It cleanses the lymphatic system and the pancreas, strengthening blood vessels, and can also help heal skin disorders. And copper has been used for centuries, as many of you know, for general arthritic complaints, include, including joint stiffness and pain. Copper also aids in mineral absorption, such as iron and zinc. Copper is known to improve the immune system as anti-aging properties and improves cardiovascular health. And um, they're so rare. I mean, I saw, and I'll have some pictures attached, of um, some stones and jewelry on Etsy and on the internet with prices outrageous. I think one site I looked at was like 120 something dollars for a stone that was very similar. Jewelry in the hundreds of dollars, I was blown away. So I, I just love um, my Facebook stone vendor at Soul Star Crystals. The link will be in the description box below. Um, Crystal is the owner of it and she finds, you know, samples of some really rare stones and gets us good deals. It's not often, but when she does, she can offer it at reasonable prices. That's the only way I can afford to get my hands on some of these. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Linda. Thank you so much for the cup of coffee. I appreciate your support. And, um, the other thing is you'll notice a design change as we move through this short video. I was going to just go with copper uh, embellishment balls, and I changed my mind. <laughs> and I'm so glad I went with the sterling silver. I think it just gave it a, you know, brought out the white agate part is what that is. And I also put a liver of sulfur uh, patina on it. So I'm really happy. It just, it brought it all together. 
So without further ado, here's a short video of the making of this gorgeous copper agate. Ooh, it turned out really good, even though the design changed a couple of times. <laughs> and that's how it goes. You never really know until you start putting everything together, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a patina on this one because I want an aged copper look. And um, then I'm going to put it in the tumbler for that final polish before I set the stone. Okay, so I'll be back.
Let's go set the stone. Oh, it turned out so fantastic. Better than what I could have hoped for. Oh, man. Ooh, okay. Let's set this baby. As a final setting, I like to go around. I'll show you. Let me put it on that little card. It gives it a little bit of support. In fact, let me get, let me move my bench pin. Just sitting it back on this um, with the double-sided tape, you know, helps me so it doesn't move around a little bit. So once I get it all turned over and you can burnish it a little bit, I like to go back in with this bezel rocker and kind of hold it on there, support it here with my side of my, the fat pad of my hand and take my little rubber mallet and just give it um, a couple of taps. It just gives it a nice little more secure connection. So I'm going to go around and do that and I'll be back for the final reveal.